A new video has just been released of a deputy sheriff who is describing what he saw the day of the Roswell UFO crash and that quote, dead aliens were being taken out of a flying saucer. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So the man you're seeing here goes by the name of Charles H. Forgus, and he is a former deputy sheriff of Big Springs in Howard County, Texas who is the latest person to claim to have witnessed the legendary UFO crash in the desert nearly 70 years ago. Now, of course, many of you know what the Roswell crash was, and if you don't, well, it was a purported crash of an alien flying saucer in July of 1947, just outside of Roswell, New Mexico. It's said that alien bodies were recovered by the military, and afterwards, a cover-up was installed by the military and government with claims that the object that crashed was nothing more than a weather balloon. But for those who have done the research over the years and who've listened to the witness testimony, most of us believe that there was indeed a crash of this craft, which was originally admitted to in all of the newspapers and by the military the day it happened, and that the alien bodies that were recovered were then taken to a top secret military base. Now, of course, there have been other counterclaims by the government who have stated that the bodies that were witnessed were nothing more than crash test dummies, which I guess for some reason were strapped to this weather balloon. And you can see that the story just doesn't make sense. And so there is an original video of this guy's interview, this deputy sheriff, aged 81 in 1999 when it was recorded, and a new never-before-seen clip of which has just been released to accompany a new book titled UFOs Today, 70 Years of Lies, Disinformation, and Government Cover-Up by Dr. Irina Scott, which was published by the Flying Disc Press on June 1st. So basically what we know is that this clip never before seen has remained buried since 1999 due to quote copyright issues according to the publisher Philip Mantle. Now Mr. Forgus, the sheriff deputy, claimed to have been driving with an unnamed sheriff from Texas to Roswell to pick up a prisoner on the night of the alleged crash when details of the incident quote came over our police radio. He was then interviewed in 1999 by Los Angeles private investigator Deanna Bever, who was looking into Roswell, and another interviewer whose initials were only given as LR. Dr. Scott said in the book that, quote, Unlike other eyewitness accounts where few people actually reported seeing bodies, this witness reported seeing the craft and the bodies in the crash that appeared significant enough to report. He told of a perfectly round saucer that reportedly crashed into a canyon after it appeared to have hit a, quote, side wall. Dr. Scott wrote, quote, He thought he saw around four beings or bodies, around five feet tall with large eyes and feet like ours. Their skin was brownish and he didn't see any blood. Their bodies were being picked up by a lift attached to a crane and swung into a truck. He said there were about three or four hundred military people there, and he didn't know from which branch, but said that they were not the Air Force. It's said that he and the sheriff watched for a while, and the military people finally saw them and asked them to leave. He said that a government person came around to talk to them later, but he told him to shut up and go away. So this new book, which I'll put a link to down in the video description, 
has been written using portions of a rough transcript of the videotape of the interview. In the book, Mr. Forgus is said to go into more detail, stating that the bodies of these alien beings look just like the ones you see on television, with the big eyes and short bodies with enlarged heads. He said there was a big round thing in the canyon, and alluding to the craft that had crashed, he said that, quote, it was a big round thing in the canyon that was about 100 feet across. He said they put the craft onto a truck and hauled it away, and that they wouldn't let us get very close to it either. Now, of course, the testimony of Mr. Forgus has by some other UFO researchers been in doubt, with one expert who goes by the name of Kevin Randall questioning why Mr. Forgus wasn't able to discern what type of military men were there, seeing as there are clear indicators on their fatigues. On the other hand, it would seem that the location of the alleged crash has also been corroborated by other eyewitnesses who also witnessed it. And lest we forget that there has always been an ongoing disinformation campaign that has stretched through the years and into the new millennium, and we still see that today, whether we're talking about Roswell or whether it's a brand new UFO sighting that I've just recently posted on the channel, you will almost immediately experience a barrage of slanderous comments that usually you'll find emanate from some strange and unknown sources. And they do this in a very scientific way, in order to cause confusion and doubt. And so the waters are muddied, and you really don't know what to believe. But it would appear that Mr. Forgus doesn't really have any ulterior motives, and he went to his deathbed, never once changing his story. Now, while we're on the subject of deathbed confessions, there is another very intriguing video confession that was uh, released by, I believe it was Open Minds TV, of a CIA agent who, just before he passed away, was quoted as saying that he saw aliens and the Roswell UFO and that the craft had been secretly stored at least for a period of time at the Area 51 U.S. Air Force Base, otherwise known as S-4. Now, it's said that this man, whose name is kept confidential in the video, said that he was sent to Area 51 on a research mission to report back to President Dwight Eisenhower, who warned of an alien invasion. The 77-year-old man was interviewed on video by UFO author Richard Dolan, who was given access as this man was facing kidney failure and had only months to live. The man stated that he served in the U.S. Army and worked for the CIA, also working for the U.S. Air Force Project Blue Book, which he claims was a total fraud. And for those of you who don't know, Project Blue Book was a government project that was put in place for a number of years back during the 40s and 50s in order to study UFO sightings. This project really served no other purpose than to cover up the UFO phenomenon. And this has been stated many times by people who actually worked in the project. And so the most shocking deathbed claim was that he was taken inside Area 51 and witnessed a variety of UFOs allegedly recovered by the U.S. military. These were said to include a flying saucer said to have crash-landed in Roswell, New Mexico. The man said in the video that the president and the CIA were allowed inside Area 51 to report back to the president. He also claimed that he and another man were also taken to the S-4 facility, where they briefly observed, quote, live extraterrestrials. So, again, very, very interesting. Uh, I'll put the link to the book down in the video description, but I think one thing that we can all say with a degree of certainty is that something happened that day in Roswell. It was admitted that there was a crashed flying disc-shaped craft. It was then covered up a day later. And over the past 70 years, there have been many other crashes, many other cases, abductions, UFO sightings, military and government whistleblowers, and yes, even assassinations. So whatever your beliefs, I ask that you keep an open mind and take a look at the evidence all together and ask yourself if this is all just in vain and whether we are all just a bunch of conspiracy theorists and that the government actually has been telling the truth all of these years. But I think you guys are smarter than that. So 
Thank you guys for stopping by today. Be sure to share and like on your way out and stay tuned because I've got a lot more coming and I will see you all back in just a bit.